Okay, now we're going to spend the next 45 minutes to an hour talking about the very basics of part-time systems. The part-time system requires driver intervention. The driver has to do something to engage the system. So he or she has to turn a knob, as the picture shows there, or press a button or pull a little lever in the floor, something to change the different modes of operation. Now, when the driver goes from two-wheel drive to 4x4 high or to 4 low, they rigidly attach both drive shafts to each other. Now, for a lot of these discussions, we're going to talk about rear-wheel drive-based transfer case style uh, systems initially. So you hear me say two prop shafts. And later on, I'll talk about front-wheel drive, and it's just it's the same operation, just a different way to get the hardware in there. So both drive shafts or prop shafts are going the exact same speed in four high. Those torques are not equal, and we kind of talked about all that de- those details yesterday, so I won't repeat all that. But understand, they have to go the same speed. So if I were to go in a turn with the, in a vehicle in four high on high mu on concrete or asphalt, the, the, the vehicle would want to have a speed difference front to rear. That speed difference would not be allowed to happen because the hardware won't allow it to happen. So the tires have to spin right up to the ground. We call that crow hop because the tires will wind up with all this torque and then kind of jump and hop and skip. And it requires a lot of throttle, a lot of gas to get the vehicle to move now to crawl through the situation. That's why we call them part-time. They're not intended for on-road use like that. They're intended for slippery surfaces, loose gravel, sand, snow, ice. Even rain could be acceptable. So here's a little cartoon showing um, on the left is your real drive base, part-time transfer case. I'll say in two-wheel drive mode. The yellow line is highlighting torque out to those rear wheels. And over there on the right, I'm showing uh, four-wheel drive mode, whether it's four high or four low, um, where the front and rears are rigidly engaged to each other. And that little chain there is showing that these things have to go at the same speed. And I know it's not in color in your books, but uh, you guys can see how that all works. Well, the transfer case itself, how does it function? What actually is going on there? Here's a little cartoon of a transfer case, um, and I've turned it sideways so it's a little easier to see. At the top of the transfer case, and I will highlight it, is the transmission input. So we have the engine, the transmission itself. It's doing all this gear reduction, all that wonderful stuff. It has an input to the transfer case. The transfer case has two outputs now. One of those outputs down here at the bottom of the screen is the rear prop shaft. The other output is this front prop shaft right area right through here. Depending on what mode we select in the transfer case will dictate what happens. Now, in the too high mode, you see I had this colored in orange. Power comes in at the top from the transmission, goes straight through the transfer case and drives the rear prop shaft and nothing goes to the front. So this is our two-wheel drive mode. We're not actually sending any torque to the front wheels. Now we're going to go from too high mode to four high mode. And you'll notice at the back of the transfer case, or the bottom of the page, there's a little actuation system here that moves as shift collar is engaged to engage that chain and sprocket set. So now we have power from the transmission at the top coming in. It still drives the rear wheels. And we're also linking it via chain to drive the front wheels. And there's little red arrows there to show that, that power flow. But you'll notice that this main shaft here is rigidly coupled to this shaft through the chain and sprockets. They have to go the same speed. We do not have a ratio difference across these sprockets. They have the same tooth combination. It's a one-to-one set. It's just there to offset the power. Well, let's go into the next mode now, neutral. And neutral isn't that common uh, nowadays. Most vehicles um, may mechanically have it, but we don't allow the drivers to get to it. 